Ashikaga is a city located in Takaji Prefecture, Japan. As of May 2015, the city had an estimated population of 149,711, and a population density of 842 persons per km superscript 2. Its total area is 177.76 square kilometers. Ashikaga is located in the far southwestern corner of Takaji Prefecture, bordering on Gunma Prefecture to the north, west and south. The Waterways River flows through the center of the city. It is located approximately 80 kilometers north of Tokyo. During the Heian period, Ashikaga was developed by Minamoto no Yoshikuni, whose descendants later became the Ashikaga clan. The area was noted from this period for its academy, the Ashikaga Gako. During the Edo period, it was the center of Ashikaga domain. Following the Meiji Restoration, the town of Ashikaga within Ashikaga District, Takaji was established with the creation of the municipality system on April 1, 1889. It was elevated to city status on January 1, 1921. Ashikaga annexed the neighboring village of Kino on March 3, 1951 and the town of Yamabe on April 1, 1953. This was followed on August 1, 1954 by the villages of Mi and Yamami, and on November 1, 1954 by the villages of Kitago and Nagasa. On April 1, 1959, Ashikaga annexed the village of Tomita, and the northern half of the village of Yabagawa on July 1, 1960. On October 1, 1962, Ashikaga annexed the towns of Mikuriya and Sakanishi. Ashikaga district was dissolved by this final merger. Ashikaga has long been noted for its textile industry, but in recent years, it has also become known as an industrial and commercial city producing various aluminum, machine metal works and products. In the agricultural sector, Ashikaga is noted for its tomatoes. Ashikaga Flower Park is Japan's oldest and largest wisteria. Wisteria is a genus of flowering plants in the legume family, Fabaceae, Leguminosae, that includes 10 species of woody climbing vines that are native to China, Korea, and Japan and as an introduced species to the eastern United States. Some species are popular ornamental plants. An aquatic flowering plant with the common name Wisteria or Water Wisteria is in fact Hygrophila difformis, in the family Acanthaceae. The botanist Thomas Nuttall said he named the genus Wisteria in memory of Dr. Caspar Wista, 1761-1818. Questioned about the spelling later, Nuttall said it was for euphony, but his biographer speculated that it may have something to do with Nuttall's friend Charles Jones Wister, Sr., of Grumblethorpe, the grandson of the merchant John Wister. Some Philadelphia sources state that the plant is named after Wister. As the spelling is apparently deliberate, there is no justification for changing the genus name under the International Code of Botanical Nomenclature. However, some spell the plant's common name Wisteria, and Fowler is decisively for the Wisteria spelling. Genetic analysis shows Collaria, Afjakia, and Wisteria to be each other's closest relatives and quite distinct from other members of the tribe Militaea. Both have eight chromosomes. Wisterias climb by twining their stems either clockwise or counterclockwise around any available support. W. floribunda, Japanese wisteria, twines clockwise when viewed from above, while W. sinensis twines counterclockwise when viewed from above. This is an aid in identifying the two most common species of wisteria. They can climb as high as 20 meters 66 feet above the ground and spread out 10 meters 33 feet laterally. The world's largest known wisteria is in Sierra Madre, California, measuring more than one acre, 0.40 ha, in size and weighing 250 tons. Planted in 1894, it is of the Chinese lavender variety. The leaves are alternate, 15 to 35 centimeters long, pinnate, with 9 to 19 leaflets. The flowers are produced in pendulous racemes 10 to 80 centimeters long, similar to those of the genus Laburnum, but are purple, violet, pink or white. There is no yellow on the leaves. Flowering is in spring, 
just before or as the leaves open, in some Asian species, and in mid to late summer in the American species and W. japonica. The flowers of some species are fragrant, most notably W. sinensis. Wisteria species are used as food plants by the larvae of some Lepidoptera species including brown tail. The seeds are produced in pods similar to those of laburnum, and, like the seeds of that genus, are poisonous. All parts of the plant contain a saponin called wisterin, which is toxic if ingested, and may cause dizziness, confusion, speech problems, nausea, vomiting, stomach pains, diarrhea and collapse. There is debate over whether the concentration outside of the seeds is sufficient to cause poisoning. Wisteria seeds have caused poisoning in children and pets of many countries, producing mild to severe gastroenteritis and other effects. Wisteria, especially Wisteria sinensis, is very hardy and fast growing. It can grow in fairly poor quality soils, but prefers fertile, moist, well drained soil. It thrives in full sun. It can be propagated via hardwood cutting, softwood cuttings, or seed. However, specimens grown from seed can take decades to bloom, for this reason, gardeners usually grow plants that have been started from rooted cuttings or grafted cultivars known to flower well. Another reason for failure to bloom can be excessive fertilizer, particularly nitrogen. Wisteria has nitrogen fixing capability, provided by rhizobia bacteria in root nodules, and thus mature plants may benefit from added potassium and phosphate, but not nitrogen. Finally, wisteria can be reluctant to bloom because it has not reached maturity. Maturation may require only a few years, as in Kentucky wisteria, or nearly 20, as in Chinese wisteria. Maturation can be forced by physically abusing the main trunk, root pruning, or drought stress. Wisteria can grow into a mound when unsupported, but is at its best when allowed to clamber up a tree, pergola, wall, or other supporting structure. Whatever the case, the support must be very sturdy, because mature wisteria can become immensely strong with heavy wrist-thick trunks and stems. These can collapse latticework, crush thin wooden posts, and even strangle large trees. Wisteria allowed to grow on houses can cause damage to gutters, downspouts, and similar structures. Wisteria flowers develop in buds near the base of the previous year's growth, so pruning backside shoots to the basal few buds in early spring can enhance the visibility of the flowers. If it is desired to control the size of the plant, the side shoots can be shortened to between 20 and 40 centimeters long in midsummer, and back to 10 to 20 cm in the fall. Once the plant is a few years old, a relatively compact, free flowering form can be achieved by pruning off the new tendrils three times during the growing season, in June, July, and August, for the northern hemisphere. The flowers of some varieties are edible, and can even be used to make wine. Others are said to be toxic. Careful identification by an expert is strongly recommended before consuming this or any wild plant. Chinese wisteria was brought to the United States for horticultural purposes in 1816, while Japanese wisteria was introduced around 1830. Because of its hardiness and tendency to escape cultivation, these non-native wisterias are considered invasive species in many parts of the U.S., especially the southeast, due to their ability to overtake and choke out other native plant species. Oh yeah! Before I forget, hit the subscribe button below for more videos to come. YouTube will notify you our new uploaded videos. Thank you for watching.